everyone, and welcome back to the Burnley & Trowbridge Company Historic Fashion Tutorial Series. Today's tutorial will cover the hem stitch. The hem stitch is frequently used to finish raw edges on clothing. While we might associate hems today with the bottom edges of a garment, this stitch is frequently applied to a variety of locations. To begin, fold the edge of the fabric over twice. Hems in the 18th century tend to be fairly conservative, so try to keep your folds as small as you can manage. If you are hemming on the straight of grain, try to keep your fold on grain as well. Once you have anchored off your thread, travel forward with your needle parallel to the fold and slightly behind the edge of the fold. Then take a small bite, picking up one or two threads of the fabric behind the fold. To finish the stitch, continue to push your needle through the edge of the fold, taking an equally small bite out of the fold. Continue the process until the edge is finished. While the images show this being done in two steps, in execution the stitch is completed in one stroke of the needle, as you see here. For most applications, your stitches won't need to be super small, but always remember to monitor your tension to be sure that the hem holds but does not pucker. In your historical repertoire, you might use this stitch to finish hems of gowns or hems of shifts and shirts. It is also used to finish necklines of shifts and shirt slits as well as shift sleeves on narrower sleeved shifts with no cuffs. And while in many cases a hem stitch is used to finish a single layer of fabric, it can occasionally be used to finish multiple layers as seen in the wrist slit in this Italian gown sleeve. While this stitch is executed on the interior of your fabric, you will notice a small row of tiny stitches on the outside. To minimize the appearance of these stitches, take smaller pricks in the fabric behind the fold. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Thank you again for joining us for another Burnley & Trowbridge Company Historic Fashion Tutorial. Don't forget to stop by our Facebook page or website for updates on the Historic Fashion Workshop series, and stay tuned to our YouTube channel for upcoming tutorials. Happy sewing!